Hey food foresters. Today we are going to finally be planting our bag of seeds that we chose. As you can tell, we got big bags, we got small bags. It's the beginning of March. The last frost has come and gone. For next, uh, per the weather report, we're not supposed to have anything else for the rest of the year. So we are actually gonna start planting now because we do leave our plants outside. It's a little bit windy today, but we're gonna go ahead and show you what we're planting and how we're planting it. I know it's a little bit windy, you're gonna try and block it, but I wanted to show you some of the stuff that we're doing. Um, these we're putting in pots. Um, we got, I picked up this, it's a tomato variety, red sorrel, butterfly pea, milkweed. Um, this envelope is full of uh, different varieties of honeysuckles. We got yard long or Asian yard long beans. Um, this year a friend of ours got us some cotton seeds. So we're going to actually try and grow some cotton seeds. I have my Confederate Jasmine. We are doing ah, the wind. Um, the sweet Thai Asian basil. The hot peppers, spinach we're starting out in pots, and Italian big leaf basil. Now, hold on, let me add weight to the ones that are going to float away. <laughs> now, over here, um, these are going to be direct sowed into the ground. So, we're not going to start these off in pots or anything. We're actually going to start these off in the ground. We got um, sweet corn, I got two different kinds. Um, we're going to do radishes, um, Florida cranberry, we got carrots, more pole beans, this is red crepe myrtle. A lot of this is sunflowers and Mexican sunflowers. And then we're going to do the peanuts and the Kentucky wandering pole beans. Um, a lot of these are either, the ones in the Ziploc bags are pretty much the ones that we harvest ourselves. And then uh, the other ones were either given to us or we kind of picked up uh, from the local store. So we're getting started here and uh, we'll go ahead and take you guys along. All right, got my duct tape, got my pen, so that way we can mark the pots. And then over here, Donald, um, a friend of ours gave us this metal raft thing. Um, the It moves, you know, it, it slides a little bit, not bad. But we're gonna go ahead and put the seedlings on here. So that way, one, it's easy to spray with the water. And then two, if we have to put it in the greenhouse, we just, pick it up and move it right into the greenhouse which we have open today we should get these tomato plants out yeah but as you can tell we got to definitely get in here and clean it up and get it all taken care of so here we go guys all right this is our process amy is labeling and planting the seeds okay just duct tape and a magic marker all right she's planting the seeds in there i'm filling up the pots i'm filling up the pots in the wheelbarrow with the wheelbarrow and then i'm also bringing them over here to our rack where we're putting them all right we'll get back with you when we get more done Here's what we got done. We got some crepe myrtles that Amy likes, the red crepe myrtles, and we got some different varieties of honeysuckle. There's uh, six different varieties here, and we got each of those labeled. Then if you come over here, All these right here is all uh, red soil. We have various types of tomatoes, 
and I think there's some cotton seed in here. We got a bunch of different plants in here. Yeah, these are different tomatoes. More tomatoes. Well, maybe these are all tomatoes. Yeah, these are all tomatoes. These are all different varieties of tomatoes. Then up here, we've got tomatoes that are already started that some friends gave us, along with some hot peppers. We have green Malabar spinach, Asian sweet Thai, blue butterfly peas, Asian yard long green beans are all here. Then we have giant noble spinach on this tray. And in here we have cotton, seed, and, what was, yeah, this one's cotton. Cotton, thought we had something else planted in here. Oh, Confederate. Confederate Jasmine. And if we go over here in the greenhouse, I have, uh, I tried, we got lots of cuttings of the uh, purple passion fruit. And in here, I, I'm trying to start some seeds too and see if we can get this get them to start from seeds i haven't tried that yet all right guys so that's about it for our planting today um we're still going to do some peanuts down there and we're gonna clear all that out there and we're gonna put some corn and other things that back in the old chicken coop or the old chicken pen all right, guys, this is a baby green link spider. They are um, harmless to humans. If you do get bit one by one, it's a uh, like a mosquito bite. But they're good keeping pests out of yep. your garden. All right, wait, wait. Oh, 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 he jumped. Jumping. He jumped. Where did he jump to? There he goes. Well, he's checking you out.